the Big Ten looks like they could be eyeing Georgia Tech from the ACC. So if all this grant of rights stuff gets done and they find a way to break apart the ACC in any which way, would Georgia Tech be a viable option? Because everybody's talked about the big brands, right? Clemson, Florida State, Miami, North Carolina, whatever. Duke, as far as basketball goes, I guess. I guess for academics, that would work as well. But Georgia Tech, as far as academics, certainly fits as well. Kelly Quinlan, who is a publisher writer for Rivals and Yahoo Sports Networks covering Georgia Tech recruiting, football, and basketball, he said that uh, Georgia Tech is being eyed by the Big Ten as a potential new addition, or at least that's a question. He said there's rumblings coming from another ACC school that there is interest in the Jackets program. Uh, it, this is all rumors, and it's actually reported by Gene Williams of Warchant, which is a Florida State site. And Gene Williams is pretty tied in. I know that. I've, I've followed him for quite some time. He tends to know what's going on and who people are looking at. If, if Georgia Tech has reached out to the Big Ten and it has been reciprocated, yeah, he's got ties over there that, that this would make sense that he would know this. So if you look at this, does that actually make sense? And, and yes, I think Georgia Tech to the Big Ten does make a whole lot of sense. And the reason for that, um, one, there was a lot of chatter about this back in 2012 when the initial, when Maryland and Rutgers were brought in. The Big Ten looked at Georgia Tech quite a bit at that point. It would make sense because you've already got massive markets across the country at this point, from L.A. to New York to Chicago, etc. It would only make sense to bring in Atlanta, Georgia, which is another massive media market and one that really cares about college football. It would give you a, a, a shoe in to the SEC recruiting for, uh, footprint. Excuse me. The SEC recruiting footprint. That's the biggest thing, I think, for the Big Ten. The other part of this is uh, research monies, monies, research money matters as well. So it's not like Georgia Tech is broke. Georgia Tech has a huge endowment. They have incredible academics at that school. This would tie in really, really well with the Big Ten. And the other thing that I mentioned with Stanford is somebody has got to take the L's. And no, I don't expect Georgia Tech to be down forever. I think that they will eventually get the ship righted and they will be successful in football. But you gotta high, you got to bring in enough people that are willing to take losses for paychecks. And I think that Georgia Tech could be one of those. Now, that doesn't mean that they're not going to have success some seasons and whatnot. They're going to beat teams that you weren't expecting them to beat. We've seen them do it with Florida State, etc., right? North Carolina last year. There are ways that you can bring in somebody that is not all that interested and not irritated when they lose. They're not all that interested in winning all the time. Obviously, Georgia Tech fans want to. The administrators, the people that really run that university, don't really care. I, I don't believe. So, they, they've they obviously got bigger things to worry about. Georgia Tech, as a Big Ten member, would make a whole lot of sense. A whole lot of sense. Finally, Last thing on the board here, the Pac-12. We'll move back over to them because they are the ones that we're just talking about ways to rip up the Pac-12, ways to rip up the ACC, etc. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.